Shalom. Today I'd like to show you a short Bible code about the seven festivals of Yahuwah. This will be part one of two. I want to keep this one simple and just to the point. And we're in the midst of the fall festivals right now. And so I thought this would be an appropriate time to look at a table like this. In this part one of two, we'll look at the seven feasts and how they show up in this table. And then in part two, which will come out in a, I don't know, a week or so, I'll show you the exact same table, but with many of the key relevant terms that are found in it. I called this Bible code the seven festivals since the Bible lists the seven main feasts of Yah in Exodus 23 and Leviticus 23. So I use the access term Moedim here in the red, and that's the plural of feast. We also have the singular of feast three times in the plain text of scripture in the red there and here and over here to the right. So what I did with my initial search was I wanted to find in the Torah a Bible code that had the access term Moedim, but then had all seven feasts listed within the matrix. This is the only one that I found in all of the Torah that had all seven feasts listed within it. Now, this access term Moedim is found at a skip of 7,408, and it's from Genesis 36 to Numbers 29. And we'll look quickly now at all of the festivals. And we have Passover is the first one. Then we have Unleavened Bread in the brown, Feast of First Fruits, and those are the spring feasts, and they're near the top. Then we have the summer feast is Shavuot, that's here in the teal, going down diagonal, and it's sharing the ayin in the access term. And then we have the fall feasts closer to the bottom. We have trumpets. Well, this one, this is a singular trumpet. And we have a day of atonement. In the yellow, it's atonement. And Yom is right here, Yod Mem, but I didn't highlight it. It's just such a small word, but Day of Atonement. And then we have Sukkot. It's interesting that Sukkot and trumpets are in this exact same line, but they're in the reverse of the Hebrew text. And then I have the phrase, the seven, in this black with the white lettering, the seven and the seven. And this one is in the plain text of scripture here. My normal method of looking for Bible codes is that I find the access term, then I find the relevant terms that are in the Bible code, and then I start to look at the um, Bible verses that cross through the matrix. And to my amazement, the two verses that I have highlighted here come from the passages of scripture that talk about the seven festivals. This here highlighted line is from Exodus chapter 23. The verses that are highlighted here are verses 15 and 16, but I'm going to read to you verses 14 to 17 just to give you the context. So Exodus 23, 14 to 17, three times you shall keep a feast to me in the year. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. You shall eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded you at the time appointed in the month of Abib, for in it you came out of Egypt. None shall appear before me empty. And the feast of harvest, the first fruits of your labors, which you have sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when you have gathered in the fruit of your labors from the field, three times in the year all your males shall appear before Yahuwah your Elohim. So that is amazing that that verse is there, and that's where unleavened bread and the feast of first fruits are mentioned. 
This other line down here is the one that's more commonly known for listing the feasts. It's Leviticus 23. And this line that I've highlighted, I'm not going to read the whole passage, but just this verse. That's Leviticus 23, verse 39. Also on the 15th day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruit of the land, you shall keep the feast of Yahuwah for seven days. On the first day, there shall be a Sabbath rest, and on the eighth day, a Sabbath rest. So that is pretty special. And that's the verse that the phrase, the seven shows up in. And this little phrase that I've highlighted here is Mishkan Ahal Moad, the tabernacle, the tent of meeting. And this here, it says tent of meeting too, Ahal Moad. So I just wanted to keep this table simple with just the seven festivals inside of it to show you how Yahuwah set this up so that we could see all seven festivals in one matrix. In a week or so, I will put up part two of this table and show you more of the words that were found inside the matrix. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Shalom.